Hello there and welcome to A Star to G. Today I'm updating a, a post I did over a year ago now, episode 2, would you believe? That's how long we've been going, more on that next week. But I just want to update you on the dates for your diary that I gave last year. The dates this time are the 20th of June, the 23rd of August and the 16th of August. Remember? Yeah, the uh, 20th of June is VQ Day. A day that I really like, a day that I really value, and I think it's really important. VQ Day is the day that we put over to celebrate the success of our learners who have completed vocational qualifications. Um, I think they're often overlooked because they are sometimes qualifications which are awarded throughout the year and throughout the summer and, and don't have a particular day when, when all results are released. So they've kind of created a day and it's kind of run by the EDGE Foundation, a very good charity doing very, very good work in the, in the field of vocational uh, uh, education. Uh, and uh, they, they kind of put this day on and they get loads of celebrities and, and give out some awards and do some films and stuff and they put it all up on their website which is vqday.org.uk do go and have a look at it and you can see how exciting education can sometimes be for those that, that re really like doing stuff it's a, it's a really good little thing to get involved in I think and congratulations to them on yet another successful year so 20th, 20th of June is VQ Day what about the 16th of August? Yeah, that's all right. That's GCE Results Day. That's the day when A-level results are rewarded. Now, when I did this post a year or so ago, I said that the, the plan was to do the results before you did the UCAS application, and this year, 2012, would be the year that that started. Well, we're still not even close to that yet. They're still arguing and whinging about what to do about A-level results. It's change, and as you know, the current administration don't particularly like change, so it's it's all a bit kind of up in the air. So we've just got another, another results day in the usual kind of uh, uh, situation, following by the usual sorts of panic, clearing and tears, just like it always has been. So uh, on the 16th of August, do your best to be in the south of France uh, and try and avoid all that if you possibly can with all the other teachers who are making a hasty retreat for the summer. 16th of August is A-level results day. And then the 23rd of August, that's GCSE results day. And the GCSE results this year, of course, swinging back towards the academic and uh, the, the impact of the EBAC. Uh, and it would be interesting to see uh, if there is a, a real marketable swing back to uh, academic qualifications and academic achievement being the Lord High Almighty above everything else that we do in school. Uh, just as a kind of uh, rule, as a, a, a observation of myself and uh, walking around uh, schools, visiting schools and seeing what teachers are doing, what head teachers are doing, it seems to me that the, the EBAC is making a massive uh, impact. Uh, schools saying that the top percentage of the people that seem to show academic ability and academic preference have to do the EBAC. And this is, you know, flies in the face of everything we've been uh, doing for uh, uh, the last uh, 15 years or so, trying to get the, the really capable learners to actually consider doing vocational qualifications. That's gone out the window, and I think it's tragic. Uh, so, yeah, uh, the EBAC is making one hell of an impact, I think, in education, and uh, uh, something that I think the, uh, the country can, can really do without is to just make people conjugate Latin verbs when really we need those people to be entrepreneurs and uh, make an impact in the workplace. Anyway, there you go. That's just me whinging on as normal. So there you go. Three dates for the diary. VQ Day, GCSE Results Day and GCE A-Level Results Day. Put them in your diary and uh, avoid them or enjoy them. See you soon.